So you're worried your charts aren't tracking. Well, today I have the solution for you. So before we get to this, which it, it's actually a very simple and easy way to test your turrets using the box to bench precision targets, you're gonna need a, obviously a good rifle, good rail setup, some quality rings and the scope, I mean, usually most of the time they track correctly, but that's what you wanna troubleshoot. So in this video, I'm gonna be using the Track Torque Ultra HD. I'm gonna be using some really good quality scope rings, the Warn Precision Mount. So this is really gonna take out all of the possible variables that could possibly be there to make it so that our results are skewed. So you do obviously want good quality equipment. If your rifle is only capable of doing a two inch group, then your margin of error when validating your, your, your tracking is gonna be like plus or minus two inches. So really keep that in mind when you're doing this. So I'm gonna be using a really good quality rifle. This is an excellent, really accurate rifle. The Tika UPR chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is one of my most accurate rifles that seems to like every load I give it. So that's why I'm using it for this test. So let's get out to the range and let's test the tracking. Also make sure your rail is tight, your scope rings are properly torqued, everything is properly torqued before even starting this. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm aiming for that middle portion right there. So I'm always gonna be aiming for the exact same spot. I'm just gonna be adjusting the turrets and based on that, I'm gonna be hitting, hopefully hitting those uh, objectives which are indicated on the paper. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm just going to uh, Start with the middle. All right, so this is a very accurate rifle. Um, I did pull that one a little bit, but you know, we are very close to where we want to start. So we're going to adjust next and check our windage. So we're going to go three mils right. Again, we're aiming for the exact same point. We just have to make sure our reticle is perfectly in line with the, uh, the black lines there. All right, um, that shortcut was because I shot the tripod. Not because the scope doesn't track, track properly, but because I set it to 3.5 mils as opposed to 1.5. Yeah. That'll do it. So I shot up my tripod downrange, and now I have duct taped my GoPro to the top part of a tripod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a dumb mistake. Real, real dumb. All right, let's do this again. Nice. You should be able to observe that it's like just on the outside of that line. All right, let's go the other way. 1.5 mils in the other direction. Not 3.5. Actually, that's a good group. <laughs> like the same hole. All right, back to zero. And what's our next uh, distance up? Because now we're gonna be testing our elevation adjustment. Next is 1.5 mils up. Wonderful. Next, I think, is three. Oop. Nope, next is 4.5 mils up. 4.5. Oh, no, there was a three mil. I just didn't look. <laughs> Let's go back down to three mil. <laughs> Three mils. Okay. So we've already done the four and a half. Next we have the six mils. Looking 
good. And last is a 7.5 mils. So far, it looks like we're doing pretty good. <laughs> so that's how you can test your turrets. Simply with a box to bench precision target, you put it at 100 yards, specifically 100 yards, you make sure it's 100 yards. Keep in mind, if you are, let's say, 10% uh, over, 10% under, your results will vary by 10%. So ensure that you are as close as you very well can get it to 100 yards exactly. And this is a good quality scope. So this is what you should expect or how close you should get your, your results to be. So, as we kind of expected, the Tractor Ultra HD 4.5 to 30 tracks excellently. And that's it, you just need a proper shooting platform, you know, get some good sandbags, get comfortable, um, make sure your, your, your rifle can group before you do it, and you're off to the races. So this is an excellent way of, let's say, before sending your rifle into the warranty, so you can actually say, hey, no, I put this at 100 yards, your rifle scope does not track, it's, it's way off way off <laughs> and trust me I have seen that one of the scopes that I was testing about a year and a half ago um, I, I, I brought it out to 1.5 mils on the windage I took a shot it wasn't even on paper that's the kind of thing that you're, you're gonna you could observe or let's say you bring it to the three mils it could be a good four inches above that's the kind of thing that you want to observe that's the kind of thing you'd send that back in for warranty work so yeah, that's how you test your turrets. So if you're looking at picking up anything in this video, for example, we have the Tika UPR. Uh, we have some, we have a good quality scope rail from Mountain Tactical. We have the Warren Precision uh, scope ring. So keep in mind, you want a good quality scope ring so that it's never the weakest link. It's never a variable that could possibly be at fault. Or if you want a Track Toric Ultra HD, these are really amazing rifle scopes and I absolutely recommend them. So anyway, thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews.